Let's see how the jigsaw feature of uh, the 3ds Max submitter could help us with re-rendering a high-resolution single frame. In this case, we have a car that was rendered at uh, 8K in V-Ray, and uh, this is one-to-one -one resolution. So uh, the whole image took 38 minutes to render in V-Ray 3 and would take 44 minutes in V-Ray 2.4. On a single machine and uh, even if we would split it into regions or tiles and send it to the network for multiple machines to render it would be a waste of resources if only small portions of the image actually changed using the uh, single frame multi-region rendering we could delete these uh, regions and create regions only for the fractions of uh, the image that require re-rendering. Let's say that our customer is happy with the look of the car in general, but he wants the mirrors and the door handles to be uh, in plastic to uh, visualize the lower trim of the Honda CRV. So we could easily select the elements that have to change the color and go and assign from the material editor uh, black plastic to these elements. Now obviously all we have to do is create regions around these uh, selected objects, use the scene selection and submit four render jobs for only a small fraction. As you can see it's only 0.4 percent of all the pixels of the image that have to be re-rendered. This means that our render time will be uh, also much faster and if we have many machines on the network uh, we can get four machines to work on these regions and uh, finish even faster. So all we have to do now is hit the submit button with the settings that we have. You'll notice that uh, the render settings right now are set to uh, render to uh, the original image on the CRV. It has the frame number on it and uh, we will be rendering over this same image. I have a backup in a subfolder, so um, I won't lose the original rendering, but I want to override the existing rendering that we just looked at. In order to do this, instead of assembling over a black empty background, we will say compose of a previous output image. This will take the input that exists with the same name and assemble the regions that we will be rendering on top of it to produce and override that same uh, file name. At this point we are ready to submit. I'll hit the submit button. I'll confirm that some uh, image files have to be sent as textures to the network. And um, after the submission is started we'll have to wait uh, for the render nodes to actually process uh, the images. We have uh, submitted the render jobs and the assembly job and uh, now we have to wait uh, for the uh, image to be processed. Let's take a look at the deadline monitor. I gave it a little bit of time to finish on a single machine and you see that each of the regions took approximately 10 seconds or less. Uh, to finish. Obviously 3ds Max needed about a minute to start but then the individual tasks of this job were processed really quickly and then the uh, dependent draft our assembly job took another minute to assemble those pieces over the uh, previously rendered image. You have to keep in mind that the uh, output is approximately 100 megabytes in size. So reading 100 megabytes, compositing on top and then writing another 100 megabyte large uh, OpenEXR file takes a little bit. Let's take a look at the actual result. We'll have to close the previous image since it has exactly the same file name and otherwise Max wouldn't uh, display the new image. You'll see that we didn't uh, instruct the uh, submitter to delete the tiles, so we actually have the individual pieces that were rendered and we can uh, preview them. And this is the final image that was overwritten with the new composited on top regions. This will take a little bit to open.
Okay. And then we wait for 3ds Max to actually load those uh, approximately 100 megabytes of data. Here is the final image. And in this final image, we have the mirrors and the door handles in the uh, lower trim of the Honda CRV. And instead of rendering for about 40 minutes, within about two minutes, we got our update. You can imagine that uh, anytime you have a high resolution rendering and you have to re-render a few changes here and there within the image, you could use the single frame multi-region jigsaw rendering option to save a lot of time.